Coach, an 80 to 79 victory over Ashland to three Pete in the GLIAC tournament. Could we start with your opening thoughts on tonight's game? I just thought Ashland had a heck of a season. Um, you know, they suffered maybe more losses than anybody in the league, and uh, they showed their championship, you know, DNA. They were champs last year, and they pulled it together and played really well. And uh, you know, they're well coached, and they did, they did things against us that really challenged us. And uh, they deserve a lot of credit, and it's it's fun to be on our end, but it's it's just heartbreaking to be on their end, and uh, that's sports. But uh, it's a great game for us, just prevailing. And we've been able to find a way down the stretch to make plays, and uh, that credit goes to our players. The three P, you know, things that have never been done here, and it's a rich history. So credit again goes to the players, but there's a lot of people behind the scenes that make this you know, even possible. A lot of places it's maybe not even possible. So we're thankful that's possible here. And uh, I'm thankful for the players that, that came here and signed up and uh, made plays today and can, hopefully will continue to make plays. Coach, last night Ashland went 21 of 29 from three-point range and tonight they went 6 of 24. Uh, what did you do on them defensively to cut that down so much? Well, first of all, I wish I didn't even watch that game because that was tormenting. Uh, that was unbelievable shooting display. And, uh, you know, we, we've actually been set up pretty well to, to guard a three-point line, just that all the teams we've been playing, Michigan Tech and Hillsdale and, uh, you know, Northern Michigan, all these teams down the stretch where we really had to guard that three-point line. So, but then when you guard it so hard like that, you know, you give up some layups, which we did, and high percentage shooting. So, you know, it's, you know, pick your poison once again, and, you know, it's a chess match. So um, we guarded the three-point line, and it was just enough. Q, 28 points tonight, led all scorers. Could you talk about your play a bit? Um, I just want to thank my teammates for uh, trusting me and, and getting the ball in my hands and finding me. Um, they knew that I was hot, so they were just trying their best to find me. And, uh, you know, trust, trusting, the, um, trusting the coaching, you know, just running our lanes, and, and they got me open. Uh, everybody from player and coach, everybody likes to be playing their best basketball of the year this time of year. Are you guys playing your best basketball right now? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. We've been talking about that all year, you know, from our starting point and uh, where we wanted to get. And, uh, you know, there might be a couple, you know, little notches that we can still get better. Uh, we know that. And we're going to be finding ways where we can get better, um, at least game by game. But we're, we're at full capacity right now. We are who we are. And uh, we're going to try to make a good run in the, in the national tournament. And uh, and I'll go from there. But we're we're playing good ball right now, and and, and you know that's what you want to do. You want, you don't want to be backing your way in, and, and we certainly haven't done that. So good story about Q. He said he was hot. Um, you know he came to me in the game and said, Coach, you, you got to get me the ball. And I said, What do you like? He named a couple plays, and uh, you know we got him the ball, and he carried us. So when he when one of your players, one of your main players, comes to you and says, Hey, it's time to get it in my hands. And that means a lot. That's confidence. That's confidence in his preparation and the work that he's put in. And uh, he really came through for us today. And I'm uh, going to be prouder of him. What's this moment like for you? Is this obviously had a lot of big moments here at uh, Paris. Is this maybe this top small? This one right oh, here? Yeah, this, this top small, man. There's, there's nothing like it, man. Uh, two peats, my second year in the program, and got two championships out of it. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Um, just want to. Just glad, glad I got to play with, with this coach, you know, the coaching staff and these players, and uh, just couldn't be happier. Looking ahead, you, you want more now, right? The season's not over, and uh, you, you got a taste of the last year. Oh, yeah, um, we we um, we had a goal, you know, and we're, tr we're trying to get to that goal, so we're we're not done yet. You know, we're going to continue to get better every day, and, uh, and we plan on getting to that goal. Looking forward to the NCAA tournament now. Uh, what do you have to do between now and when that begins to uh, better your chances? Well, first of all, we got to figure out who we're going to play. Yeah, that, that'll help. So we actually get a little time here to, to breathe before we even know that. Otherwise, we'd be right to work. And then, you know, just dissect them and see what we think we can expose and what we think will work against them. And uh, you know, we get to draw on some of our experience, maybe from last year, but this. This NCAA tournament, I mean, <laughs> top eight teams in the region, and everybody is, is worthy of winning it. So um, you just you just give it your best effort and, and see and see what happens. So far, so good for us. Um, 
you know, one thing about this team is we're not afraid to lose. So if we, if we do lose, um, we're going to lose how we want to lose. We're going to be going down uh, firing, and, you know, hopefully that day doesn't come. One last question for you, Q. Uh, you got to play in front of your home crowd here. Possibly the last chance you'll be able to do that. Uh, what was it like to play this last game, uh, possibly in front of that home crowd, and blow the lid off the place a couple of times? Um, it was great. You know, we uh, I wasn't expecting this this kind of turnout because uh, spring break, but um, it was a crazy turnout. And uh, you know, all those people they've been they've been supporting us all year. And, you know, we got we got a great crowd and. Uh, it was great, man. Another, it was, words can't even explain it. You know, I just want to thank all the fan base for uh, just being very supportive for the whole year, and um, it was nothing like it.